Hey guys, how you doing? This is your friend Alex, and today I'm gonna show you how to unlock this Motorola locked to T-Mobile. But please watch this video from the beginning till the end so you don't miss any of the tips that I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna try to unlock this Motorola phone. This is one of the old ones, the one that you can have the battery removed. This Motorola is locked to T-Mobile, and I have a Mint Mobile SIM card. So I'm gonna put it here, and then I'm gonna put the battery, then I'm gonna turn it on. T-Mobile, so you can see that it's locked to T-Mobile. Oh, look at this guys. Because Mint Mobile uses the T-Mobile network, I can use Mint on this T-Mobile lock Motorola. So this is gonna work with Mint, there's no problem. So what I need to do is I need to put a SIM card from another carrier that is not using the T-Mobile network. And I have a SIM card here from Peru that I wanna put this Intel SIM card does not use the T-Mobile network. That's for sure. Let's see what happened when I turn on this phone that is locked to T-Mobile with a SIM card from another carrier. T-Mobile. Right there, guys. So this is what I wanted to show you. Network lock. This device can be remotely unlocked if eligible. Please use the device unlock application to unlock the device. Make sure the device has an internet connectivity to use the device unlock application. Back in the days, guys, we used to be able to unlock these phones with a code. Now we need to use an application, okay? Because a lot of people were buying codes online and just unlocked the devices and it was crazy. But now we need to use an app. And what is this app? This is the app, guys. It's called Device Unlock. But first, I want to make sure that I have internet connectivity, right? I do have Wi-Fi. Okay, guys. So let me try with that Device Unlock. Allow Device Unlock to make and manage phone calls allowed. Your device is network locked at this time, which prevents it from operating with other companies' wireless networks. To inquire about your device unlock eligibility, please continue. Okay, can I click Continue? Connecting to server, it says. And look at this, server not responding. Please try again later. Okay, let's try again. Server not responding, please try again. So they just, T-Mobile. We do not recognize your SIM card. Please insert a T-Mobile SIM card to continue. So it looks guys that you can only request the unlock when you have a T-Mobile SIM card. That's insane, guys. I mean, it shouldn't happen like that. Look at this, now it's going in, guys. It says permanent unlock. Select this option if you would like to permanently request that your device be unlocked or temporary unlock. Select this option if you intend to travel internationally and use another local carrier GSM service. What you want is a permanent unlock. So let's read more. Select this option if you would like to permanently request that your device be unlocked. Certain eligibility requirements apply. Once this mobile is unlocked, it can work on another carrier's compatible GSM network. This unlock service is provided over the air at not cost to you and your device will be unlocked as long as eligibility requirements are met. If you have any questions regarding unlock requirements, please check your carrier's website for eligibility criteria. Okay, so of course we're gonna select permanent unlock right so let's click here requesting for a permanent unlock please wait unlock fail failure in processing the request please reboot device and try it again this sucks guys but this time I'm gonna try it with a sim card from T-Mobile that I should have around looks like I don't have a T-Mobile SIM card, so I'm going to use a Mint Mobile. Let's see if somehow they will approve me with that. Right here. I found one, guys. T-Mobile. Look at this. Boom. You know what? I'm going to try it with Mint first. And Mint, you know, is the same network. You can see it right here right there mint okay so let's try it with mint permanent unlock requesting for a permanent unlock please wait oh look at this guys unlock approve mobile devices permanently unlock to apply these settings you must restart your device look at this guys this is a beautiful thing i was not expecting to get this guys so it looks like in order to get the approve you need to put a sim card Look at this, device is permanently unlocked. 
looks like in order to get a proof, you need to put a SIM card with the same network, okay? I was gonna try a T-Mobile SIM card, but I couldn't find any, so I tried the Mint Mobile, and that one worked, guys. When I try a SIM card from Peru, it didn't allow me to do it. So that's the trick, guys. You need to try it with a SIM card of the same network. This device is unlocked. To prove you that, let me put that SIM card from Peru. First, let me turn off the phone. That's a nice surprise, guys. I was not expecting to get that, especially because I don't know the history of this phone, you know? I don't know if it qualifies or not. So let me put that Intel SIM card. And if I don't get the message that I showed you before, that means that this phone will work. Previously, when we put that SIM card from Peru, it gave us a, a message, right? Let's see if now the phone is unlocked or not. Never give up, guys. Always try again. You never know if they're gonna prove it. And it says no service. But we are not getting that message saying that the phone is locked to T-Mobile, nothing like that. So that guarantees that this phone is unlocked. Let me see something here really quick. And this is the Moto E5 Play. Android version 8, software channel Timo, status, SIM status, network unknown. But this is my Peruvian phone number, guys. This is great. And network is unlocked because they don't know the network. But I'm not getting the lock message. So, guys, this unlock was successful. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. That's the best way you can support my channel so I can continue doing videos for you. If I don't have your support, then this channel is going to die. Thank you.